वेलकम बैक गाइस टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ द पी सी बी चैनल एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू हाउ टू मेक अ टी वी रिमोट जैमर यूजिंग एनी फाइव 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 टाइमर लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड फर्स्ट ऑफ आई वॉन्ट टू टेल यू द कम्पोनेंट्स यू गोट रिक्वायर टू मेक दिस प्रोजेक्ट सो द कम्पोनेंट्स रिक्वायर्ड आर अ फाइव 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 टाइमर आई सी एंड आई आर एल ई डी a 10k potentiometer two one and four one four diodes a 10 nanofarad capacitor a bc547 transistor some wires three resistors 5.6 ohm resistor 1 kilo ohm resistor and four 70 ohm resistor a 9 volt battery a 9 volt battery clip a breadboard a screw driver to adjust the frequency of the potentiometer that's all you're going to require start by placing the 555 timer on the breadboard connect pin 4 and pin 8 of the ic place the transistor on the breadboard with its emitter connected to the negative rail of the breadboard using a 5.6 ohm resistor place the diode on the breadboard with one of its end connected to the negative rail of, of the breadboard and the other to the ground place the next diode with its negative terminal connected to the ground of the breadboard and the other side to the base of the transistor place the 470 ohm resistor on the breadboard with its one of the terminal connected to the base of the transistor and the other end to the pin 3 of the 555 timer ic place the potentiometer on the breadboard connect the mid pin of the potentiometer to the rightmost pin of the potentiometer connect pin 3 of the ic to the middle pin of the potentiometer connect pin 6 of the ic to pin 2 of the ic connect pin 2 or pin 6 of the ic to the leftmost pin of the potentiometer using a 1k ohm resistor place the 10 nanofarad capacitor on the breadboard with one of its leg connected to the pin 2 of the ic and the other leg to the negative rail of the breadboard connect pin 1 of the ic to the negative rail of the breadboard Now finally place the IR LED on the breadboard with its cathode aka shorter leg connected to the emitter of the transistor and its longer leg aka anode connected to the positive rail of the breadboard Now finally we have made the circuit and power it with a 9 volt battery and the sh- circuit should look like this so guys thank you for watching if you like this video then don't forget to like share and subscribe stay creative and i will see you next time